So welcome to Techno Dad Life, and today we're going to look at cage nuts, rack studs, and my new favorite, dev slash mounts. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will leave links in the description down below to everything I mentioned in this video, unless I forget. So if you've watched this channel, you know I'm testing things and I'm moving things in and out of my racks. And so I'm constantly changing things up and I've been using cage nuts, of course. Everybody does, because they come free with everything and they're not very expensive. If we look on Amazon, so they're only $14 for a 50 pack or, or they're only uh, $28 for a 100. In the big scheme of things, not very expensive, and if you're not changing things around, that's probably good enough for you. And also, they come free with everything, so you'll probably just use them. So now, because I change everything around, I first became interested in rack studs. And so rack studs are interesting because it's three different pieces. So there's a, a red piece, and so this is the screw. And then the screw is held in place. You put it into the cabinet by a little clip here. And then you put a, a yellow piece on and you can see it goes right in there so the clip can't get undone. And then the last piece is the black piece that holds things into the rack. This is really nice because what it does is gives you something to hold or hang your server on while you're actually tightening up the nut. And so for an old style one, basically you hold the server up and then you put in the screw, which takes at least two people depending on how heavy your server are. Now, since I have bought these, because I bought these when they originally came out, they now have ones where it's two together, so it's a one U, uh, combination. So here you can see if we bought a 50 pack of rack studs, that would be $58 compared to a 50 pack of cage nuts, uh, which would be or $14, but we would need two of these to equal the rack studs, so we, it would be around $28. So you can see these are quite a bit more expensive but if you're hanging stuff by yourself or if you are changing things out frequently, this is so much easier, which is why I bought these at the time. Now, the bad thing about these is they are fiddly. And so, so when you pop them in, this little yellow piece, for some reason, doesn't want to stay in place for me. You can see it's not a very tight fit. And so then, uh, as I'm screwing things on, it seems to come out. So it works great, but it's just not the perfect thing that I wanted. And so, uh, next I found these dev.mounts, which is the worst name ever for a product. So these actually just clip on. You can see there's a little tiny clip there, and so that clips around the edge of the rack and then you put it in and then you push this in that snaps on then you put on the red iodized nuts and then you, it's on there to take it off you take off the nuts nuts and then you actually just push forward like this this side pops off and then you can take it right off so how much are these so basically, on Amazon, these are $89 with a $10 coupon. But if you go to the Patchbox slash Dev slash Mount website, click on Buy Now, they're only $7. So if you're going to buy these, I would go to the Patchbox website. That's where I got mine. Oh, and I forgot to say, no product in this review did anybody pay me or actually even give it to me. I actually bought all these different things. So now let's take a look at putting these in, see how long it takes to do each one. We'll do the cage nuts, the rack studs, and the slash dev slash mounts. So first we did the cage nuts, and so 
go in pretty easily. I've done this many times before. Now the thing about the cage nuts, it's not just putting them in, but it's also taking them out. So it actually seems to be even harder to get something in rather than taking them out. Unfortunately, I didn't record that part. So if we skip ahead, it took me approximately two minutes to put it in. This is actually faster. The second, I didn't record it the first time. The second, uh, first time it took uh, two minutes and 10 seconds. So next we'll look at the rack studs. So the rack studs I thought would take a lot less time. You just push them in, they clip right in, and then you put a yellow thing over it. So here I'm putting all the rack studs in first. And right here, now we're putting on the little yellow tags. And those keep the rack studs in place. And if you notice over here to the left hand, or right hand side, I put one in too low, which I will figure out in a second here. And oops, does not fit. So I have to pull that out. Now the interesting thing is you see you can just pop that off and just tilt it back. Tilt it back and then it pop it right back in. So it just takes a few seconds to relocate one, which is much less time than relocating a cage nut. Slide that right back in and then we just need to screw on the nuts. And those are just hand tightened. And so the nice thing about these is because the screw is sticking out the front, it hangs in place, sort of. You need to have a nut on each side, but once you have that, then you don't have to hang on to it anymore. Now what surprised me about this is I thought it would take less time, but it actually took more time. Even if you take into account that I did have to move one, it was only about 10 seconds to move it. Uh, it's just those are a little more fiddly. So next we did the slash dev slash mount from Patchbox. And these ones I expected to go in pretty quickly, and they did. So on these ones, you just have to get the little clip on the left around the edge of the rack. And then it should pop right in. And I got it in a lot faster on the right hand. And then my light died. So now it's time to put in the shelf. Now the interesting thing about this is the clip sticks out a little bit, so you have to, it will press on whatever you put in the rack, so you have to sort of maneuver it around that. And that's the only one of the, the rack studs or the studs that actually did that. But it seems to actually hold it in place a little bit better. And this is the same as the rack studs, it just has a screw on nut. Once you get two on, basically it's held up. And there we have it. So a minute 40, which is the least amount of time of all of them. And that's with me actually uh, fiddling around with the camera for a few seconds too. So that's about it. So the one thing about these mounts is that uh, depending on your rack and where you put it in the rack, sometimes this clip on the side, the one that you use to angle it in, is a little hard to get on there. And so you have to fiddle it with it sometime. I didn't really have to fiddle too much with it that time, just in the beginning. Uh, now let's look at these to come off because this is the amazing part. Now to take these off, you just push forward, pops off, and it's off.
it almost happens too fast to even record. It's just the fastest. And so for me, again, because uh, I change things around a lot, I really like these. But all the other ones work. If you're not moving things around, just use your regular uh, rack nuts. And then, you know, if you want something a little better, you can get rack studs. But these are actually cheaper if you buy them direct from uh, the website. And it comes in this big box, this patchbox box. So that's it for today. Uh, very boring topic, you know, rack studs or dev slash mounts studs or cage nuts. Uh, but if you know you're building a whole lab and you're changing around a lot, these actually come in handy. So you take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.